Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe, and my favourite TV show is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's amazing, check it out, it's on Netflix. There's 12 seasons of it, and if you don't like it, then just, just get out of here. So today I'm going to be showing you the way I personally cover up imperfections and acne and stuff on my face that make me feel a bit bleh. So I decide to just cover them up a bit, just for a bit more confidence. So... Let's get into it. So as you can see, I've broken out a little bit on this side. I can't really find the cause of it, I think it's just hormones, I am due on soon, but... My skin was pretty clear, probably about two weeks ago, and like, three spots turned up like here, and now they're just all over the place. I've been doing everything I can, but... What can you do? So, I'm going to be showing you my routine that I do just to make myself look a bit more easy on the eye. I feel like, personally for myself, when I go out and I look like this, I'm sure most people don't give a shit. That's fine, because I don't care what you think. But me personally, I just, I can like feel it. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, when you go out and you have a massive spot on your face, you just feel it there and you just, I just feel dirty and I just don't like it personally that's not to say that if you know me in real life that you feel like now whenever I see you and you have a spot I'm gonna be staring at it like you're dirty that's not the case I don't give a shit what you do with your face but me personally I just I don't like it I do not like it so that is why I choose to cover them up which is fine it's, it's up to me and if you don't that's fine as well I don't care I've already prepped my face so I will prime my face and I'll just be using my primed and ready because I've got quite big pores. So I'll start on my forehead and then with the other bit that was on my finger I'll do my nose and then I'm just going to do the same thing on my cheeks here and a little bit on my chin. If I could find the primer, there it is. Don't pop your spots because I found that I used to pop my spots all the time. If a spot came up I'd be like, no, what are you doing on my face? How dare you? But Honestly, it's better if you don't pop them. They're so much easier to cover. If you pop them, especially that morning, like before you put your makeup on, it's so much harder to cover. Makeup does not like going on open wounds. It just doesn't. You try and put it on. I'm sure you've tried before, I don't know, but I know I used to do it all the time and I'd just be walking around. And it makes it so much more obvious. If you have an open wound on your face and you've tried to cake makeup on it, it just you can see it so much more. It just it does not like being covered. And then if you pop it and put makeup on the next day and it's a scab, it's just gonna look like a bit of dry, crusty skin, basically. I just think it's so much better to just leave them alone. And I've only recently started doing that. I used to pop them all the time because not only do I just hate them being there, but I just love popping spots. I just think it's so, like, satisfying. But I've been trying to stop that, so. So I'm gonna give my primer a second to, like, settle in. Whilst it's doing that, I'll prime my eyes. Now, I'm priming my eyes, but in this video you're not going to see what I do on my eye look. You'll have seen it last week. I'm videoing this in like two parts. So I'm doing my face for one video and then my eyes for the other. So I'm just going to prime my eyes. I'm just going to do my base like I normally would. So I'll prime my eyes by putting some Shape Tape Concealer on my eyes. And this is in fair beige, like normal. And then I'll just blend this in with my finger because it's easier. <laughs> and then I'm just going to set that by using some RCMA powder. And I'll just pop it on there. And then I'll just kind of like press it into my eye. And then what I'll do which I don't really do on a regular basis because I don't really need to, but I'll colour correct. These spots are quite angry, they're quite red, they are not happy. So I'll just get a little bit of green concealer. This is the MUA one that you've seen in the video, which I didn't really like. Just swirl it on my finger and just pop it on the areas that need it. And then I'll just kind of pat over them like a little bit. I don't want to fully blend them out because you're not going to see it anyway, and also if you fully blend it out, it just ends up disappearing. So I'll just give it a few taps and then see like this one. I've blended it too much and now it's just green with red in the middle. So now that I've got really weird green splotches just all over my face. So this is completely optional, but what I like to do, mainly because I have oily skin, is I like to use a bit of powder and I go before my foundation. That just helps, one, I find that it really helps push the primer in more, keep the primer where I want it. And I also find that it helps keep this green where I want it. And then I'll use my puff again. I'm just gonna... Oh, I just like scraped eyeshadow out of the palette. This one. Oh god, that feels so gross. And then I'll just take like... I'll just take a brush just to get rid of any excess. Okay, so before I put foundation on, I like to... And this... I should have done this before the powder. I don't know why I didn't. But I like to... I like to just put some concealer on the green bits just for extra like 
coverage just so I'm sure no green is gonna show through. If you do this, before the powder. So I'm just gonna go over all those areas. And then I'll use my finger again, just dab it in a little bit. Again, I don't like blend it out properly because you're not gonna be able to tell the, how good it's blended when it's under foundation anyway, so. So now I'm gonna go into foundation and what I like to do when I'm a bit like more spotty is I'll use two foundations. I'm gonna go in first with this, my gosh foundation in porcelain, just because I found that if I use this first on top of the powder, it kind of brings up the product, where if I use this first it doesn't and then I'll put this on top, so. And then I'm just gonna blend it all my Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge, the flat edge is real nice. Excuse me, coming through, God washing do. Jesus Christ. Excuse me, come here. So that's that first layer of foundation done and as you can see things are still a bit more but like, they're still a bit noticeable but they're obviously a bit more like toned down but you can still see I have spots this one is just not not cooperating at all so like you can still kind of see like the, the spotty areas so that's why I like to go in with another layer but this is fine like this if I was like just not really that bothered which half the time I am but you know, like, if you were just going out for, like, an hour and you didn't want to waste that much makeup, this is fine. Like, this kind of just looks like a few a few spots, but, you know, which are human, but they don't look exactly, like, angry and flared up and, like, they're going to take over the world. So, if you wanted to go with this, this would be fine. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Pure Bear It All Foundation in porcelain as well. And I find that this one has a lot more coverage than the one before. Hey, me again, excuse me, coming through, sorry. Greasy. <laughs> and then this is the second layer of the Pure Foundation. As you can see, it has got a bit more coverage. You can still, like, I should have said at the start of this video, disclaimer, you are not going to look like you don't have any spots. You can still see, you can see that I have spots, and you can see that I'm covering up. I'm not that bothered about that but they just don't look as discoloured, they don't look as in your face, and they're just not, and they're not the focal point of my face. Like, they just kind of look like little bumps, really. Except for this one, ignore this one, because it's a bitch. But the rest, there's no colour to them. They all just look very, like, you know, they look very dull, and so I'm just gonna do, like, the rest of the stuff I usually do. So I'll just blend all that in with the tip of my quickie blend. And then to set those areas that I've just concealed, I'm going to use the same RCMA powder, but I'm going to use my beauty blender just to help it melt in a bit more and look a bit more natural. Hey, dipshit, you want a tea? I'd love a tea. And then I'm just going to powder the rest of my face with just a brush because I don't really need to like push it in. Recently I keep forgetting about my nose when doing my makeup, like either I'll forget to put foundation on it and then I'll look and I'll be like, what's going on or powder I keep forget to powder it or like contouring it and stuff like that I don't know why considering it's right in the middle of my face okay so all of my face is powdered now except for here which I like to leave until after I've contoured because then I can clean it up by baking underneath it but all of that's done so what I'm gonna do now is bronze so I'm just gonna do that by using my revolution I don't even know what it's called anymore because <laughs> the writing has literally come off it oh no iconic lights if you'd like a favorite and hate it kind of video then comment a turd down below comment a turd and I'll do it okay so I'm just going to bronze up my face because I'm quite pale and uh, putting all that foundation and powder on just makes me paler so I like to warm my face up a bit and I like to do that by using a really big brush because I, f I like my bronzer in like a concentrated place I like it to be quite you know like naturally just like the Sun has just kind of blue on my face <laughs> and then I'll do the same on my forehead kind of just all over it. I don't like to use a lot because, like I said, I'm quite pale, so it will show up really obviously on me. So now that bronzing is mostly done, I'll use my, I use this brush for my contour, and I use the lightest brown in the palette, and then I'm obviously more concentrated with this. I stay in like the hollows of my cheek, on my forehead, and then I'll do my nose. And I just like to, for my nose, I like to use like, this is like an angled eyeshadow brush, I think, but I like to use this very like top of it and the edge, just cause it gives me a very straight line. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the darker contour that I use. The only thing I use it for is just the very, you know, the very like deeper parts that would be darker shadowed. I'm going to bake here just so my contour is a bit more precise. Okay, so whilst that's having a little, little break, I'm gonna go into that dark colour and do the end of my nose. So now I'm gonna brush off this bake. I'm just gonna do some highlights. So I'm just using my fan brush and 
this colour in the palette. And then for the for like the rest of my face, like more controlled areas, I will use a smaller angled brush. Just for like the tip of my nose and the bridge. My cupid bowl and a tiny bit on my chin. I don't look to, like to put a lot on my chin. I don't know why, I just think it looks greasy, so. I almost forgot to contour my jawline. Okay, so first I'm gonna bronze it up. The same as I did with everything before, rather than being like very precise, I'm just kinda gonna, and then I'm gonna contour it with the same color. And then again with the darker color, I'm just gonna get a bit of that and just stay here where it'd be darker. And then last but not least, for my base, I add blush. Now I do have a blush, but I've been really loving orange blush recently and I don't own an orange blush, so what I've been doing is just using this little colour from my NYX Brights. Okay, so this is my base, and this is what I would do on those weeks where, you know, it's coming to that time, and your face is kind of freaking out a bit and doesn't really know what's going on, so it just starts firing shit out of it and looking quite angry. So this is what I do to kind of cover it up a bit and make myself look a bit more not swatty and the reason I showed you the rest of the face like the highlight and the bronzer and all that I feel like it before that you could still really see them but with this all this it kind of takes it away a bit like it really helps so you can still see them obviously and this little bit but like I said they're not the focal point of my face anymore like they were before I'll try and do a before and after but and yeah so this is how I do my face when I'm feeling a bit spotty and a bit red. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learnt a lot, I hope you like, I hope you subscribe and I hope you share and I will see you on my next video. Bye! Bye!